The Russian advance on Pokrovsk does not only threatens vital supply routes, the city itself, and all its civilians. It also creates an extremely dangerous situation for Ukrainian forces south of Pokrovsk. As Forbes analyst David Axe writes, the Russians approaching Pokrovsk outflanked Ukrainian forces holding a line between the village of Memrik and the Vovcha River, which runs north to south, three miles east of Memrik. The result is an open salient jutting eastward into the Russian line, a salient that, with a few decisive Russian maneuvers, could become a trap for hundreds of Ukrainian troops. The analyst writes, Inside this salient are units of the 59th Motorized Infantry Brigade, the 68th Jaeger Brigade, the 117th Territorial Defense Brigade, and the 15th National Guard Brigade. At the same time, the analyst notes that the integrity and stability of these Ukrainian forces depends on the 25th Airborne Brigade, which is defending the village of Ukrainsk in the northern direction of this section. The Ukrainian retreat may already have begun, the analyst writes, and this is a smart move on the part of the Ukrainian command. Withdrawal from this salient would give the Russians about 30 square miles, but would preserve the integrity of the Ukrainian battalions at a critical moment, the analyst notes. In addition, some optimistic assessments of the fighting around Pokrovsk indicate a slowdown in the Russian advance, which could give the Ukrainians time and space to strengthen their defenses and logistics and save the city. There are not enough troops. There are so few that the loss of parts of four brigades could be catastrophic for the Ukrainians. At the same time, a successful evacuation of these almost encircled troops could strengthen the straightened and shortened Ukrainian line. The Forbes analyst believes. He emphasizes that this will probably be the most optimistic outcome for the Ukrainians defending Pokrovsk since, according to experts, stabilization in this section of the front line is possible by autumn after the Russian army has exhausted its offensive potential. Recently, The Telegraph reported that Russian troops were advancing in the direction of Pokrovsk in Donetsk Oblast. It was assumed that Ukraine could lose Pokrovsk as early as September, since the actions of the occupiers threatened to encircle large sections of the Ukrainian front. Volodymyr Zelensky stated that Russian invader troops have not advanced in the Pokrovsk direction, while a fairly large number of Russian troops have been transferred from the occupied part of southern Ukraine, the Zaporizhia region and the Kherson region, to the Kursk region of the Russian Federation. The Ukrainian military has regained previously lost positions near the city of Pokrovsk, Donetsk region. The U.S. Institute for the Study of War says so. Geolocation images published on September 2 show that the defense forces of Ukraine have regained their positions in the southwest of Novogradivka. Ukrainian forces have regained recently lost positions southeast of Pokrovsk against the backdrop of Russia's continued tactical success in the region, analysts said. By the way, according to the military political analyst Alexander Kovalenko, the Russian invaders did not continue their movement towards Pokrovsk, but instead formed the southern flank. The publication particularly emphasizes that next to the Ukrainian dugouts there is a powerful army group of the Russian armed forces, whose personnel may be at least 10,000 fighters. And it is this brigade that is moving along the Ukrainian flanks, trying to bypass the Ukrainian defensive fortifications located in the area of the Memrik settlement and the Valkia River massif. This move by the Russian general staff has created a deep bulge in the direction of our own positions, and if the Russian army manages to cut the neck of the bulge, the cauldron will be officially closed. The publication particularly emphasizes that next to the Ukrainian dugouts there is a powerful army group of the Russian armed forces, whose personnel may be at least 10,000 fighters. And it is this brigade that is moving along the Ukrainian flanks, trying to bypass the Ukrainian defensive fortifications located in the area of the Memrik settlement and the Valkia River massif. This move by the Russian general staff has created a deep bulge in the direction of our own positions, and if the Russian army manages to cut the neck of the bulge, the cauldron will be officially closed. The American press listed who could be surrounded, units of the 59th Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, rangers of the 68th Brigade, part of the 117th Troops Brigade and, 
finally, units of the 15th Brigade of the National Guard. And as the authors of the publication reminded once again, the best solution would be to give the order to retreat not tomorrow or in a week, but yesterday, otherwise, the advanced detachments of Russian attack aircraft will cut off the supply and retreat routes. This point of view was expressed by expert analysts from the conflict intelligence team.